Namaste. Today we are going to start Magha Amavasya Masa meditation. This meditation is a series of spiritual karmic healing. And we are going through this sidereal concepts of um, what is called lunar months in Indian Hindu calendar. Hmm. Every month we have a new moon and full moon meditation. And every year we can again and again dive into this spiritual, sidereal, spiritual nakshatra healing. Let's sit in a comfortable position. Let's become aware of our body and surroundings. If there is any adjustment that you want to make in your posture, in the environment, you can adjust yourself now. Hmm. So that in this meditation you are the most at easy with what is possible now. Once again, let's breathe in. Let's breathe out. Let's become aware of the air coming in and coming out. When the air comes in, bring attention to the bottom of your spine. When the air goes out, bring attention to the top of your head. Just bring some attention to the flow of prana through the spine. When the lungs are full, prana is in the bottom of the spine. When the lungs are empty, Prana is in the top of the head. In the material level, the lungs are going one direction. In the energetic level, the prana is compensating in the other direction.
let's become aware of the body and the energy through the spine. Let's observe the material aspect of it and the bioelectrical counterpart of it. meditation we are going to bring awareness to the forefathers here we are going to make our official transition from our first stage of life to the second stage of life. We are going to leave childhood, teenagehood, and we are going to be initiated by our, for our forefathers to adulthood. Let's become aware of our parents, of our grandparents, of our grand grandparents, and also elder people in our lives that we consider wise, we consider examples of proper behavior. From a sidereal, from a karmic mm. framework, when we are around 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, around that, we should be integrated to a lineage of Dharma a lineage of social responsibility. The elders that are alive are the lungs and the elders that are not materialized in a dense form are the flow of bioelectricity through the spine. One is in the forefront, another one is in the backstage. Let's become again aware of the breath and these two aspects at work 
connected in different dimensions. One more material, another more energetic. Let's bring a little space of reverence to all the lineage of material people that we know and also the mentors, the angels, the forefathers that are helping us to evolve spiritually both sides of the coin the stula that we can touch and see easily and the sukshma that we can Mm. you can bring attention to that dimension and then get in touch with it cloud of awareness to travel to a time space in this life or whatever in the past in the future wherever it goes doesn't matter just let it reach a place of initiation A place where your life was being taken care by the society, by your family, by your clan, by your group. And you are considered not yet ready to be part of the adulthood it doesn't matter if you're a man if you're a woman or whatever you are still not considered ready to be part of the group decisions you were considered immature unripe if the sensations and the emotions that are coming now make sense or not just bring attention to what is happening Allow that consciousness feels and heals. Pleasant, unpleasant. For the awareness, they are just like the same.
integrate them in just one yogic being where the pleasant and the unpleasant are both sides of the same coin but awareness is in the middle of these two sides When we are born, we are initiated by our fathers to this karmic existence. Let's thanks to them. But when we are ripe to reborn to Dharma, to be responsible for life, to consider the environment, the community as part of your duty your divine duty this is the time when we are initiated when we are born to our forefathers by our forefathers with our forefathers mentors ancestors putters Become aware of the beauty of this initiation. If this has happened in this life or not. If this has happened in other lives, from the past or the future, the presence of being tuned with the need of this light, of this birth, is actually what we need. Please gently open your heart to these vibrations. The light, the knowledge, 
the protection for the purpose of our mm, energetic guides depends on our internal allowance for them to come. Inside yourself, cultivate this feeling, this state, this bhava of receptivity to a higher order of existence. This existence brings us from the karmic to the dharmic way of living. Again and again, a little bit of consciousness in the breath with the two dimensions of the breath. One in the lungs, another in the spine. material, another in the energetic level. To all our mm, parents, grandparents, and elderly people, pay your reverences that they are, they were, the first, the easiest recognizable means of mentorship if they were good or bad in your judgment just cover this judgment with the mm, With the vibrations of acceptance and reverence. They did what was the best that they could do. They were just bringing your karma back. It's our karma. And beyond that, just like there is a subtle layer of um, uh, 
that's good. Of dew in the grass. The dew in the grass is like the Petris in our life. They don't show every time, <laughs> but they exist. And if we tune to the time and space and the mm, internal, internal vibration that allows this to come, they come. Please open yourself to be guided. By the mentors that can help you to serve better. Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Sukino Bhavantu Shanti 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 Blessings pouring from our ancestors, from our mentors, from our patriots. Just open yourself to them.
if you want to keep meditating or rest. Yes. Take care that your body is in a proper temperature if you are lying down, so it doesn't cold get cold too much. If you are on the winter, please be very careful with the temperature. And let's rest for more five, ten minutes. Leaving space to our pranic body to reconfer reconfigure. Subtle patterns of organization. It's really, really important that we give this time so it endures. If you just finish this meditation and do other things, you have some benefits, but it's It's easily washed away. Please put yourself ah, ah, lay down for more five, ten minutes. Surrendering yourself to a karmic, bioelectric reorganization.
fully and friendly. Become aware of your feet. Move the little a little bit. Fingers. Stretch your arms, stretch your feet. Roll to the left side of your body and stretch. Roll to the right side of your body and stretch. And then just come to the fuito position on the right side. Hmm. As comfortable as it's natural for you. If you feel that it's needed to be more time resting, it's okay. Just protect your back, that maybe your back is not protected now. If you're comfortable, if you're still eyes closed, slowly, gently, supporting your weight with your arms. Let's sit again. Do some Namaste Mudra, Pranava Mudra. Om Shri Guru Pyo Nama Hari Om Thanks for meditating with us. We see you again on Maga Purnima Masa meditation. If you enjoyed this practice, please share with friends that you think that would be auspicious for them also. Nice.